Hi, this is Camille with Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and in this quick tutorial, you're going to learn how to convert PowerPoint to Google Slides so that you can take advantage of some of the Google Slides features available to you. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, Google Slides is the second most popular program for creating and delivering presentations behind Microsoft PowerPoint. Some of the advantages of using Google Slides are, it's free to use, it's cloud-based, so there's no software installation required, there's a history review to check previous changes made. It's very easy to share for seamless collaboration, and it works 100% the same across Mac and PC. However, there are some disadvantages of using Google Slides for your presentations, and those are there are only a few basic animations and few transitions. The templates aren't robust like in PowerPoint. It has slightly fewer export options in PowerPoint, and it's not accepted by many corporations and organizations with strict privacy rules and firewalls. While some people prefer one program over the other, if you're trying to decide which program to use, I recommend choosing whichever program your client or project team is using. That will always work the best based on what everybody else is familiar with. Now, assuming you're ready to convert your PowerPoint presentations into the Google Slides format, the first thing to know is that there are two different ways to do that. The first way to convert PowerPoint to Google Slides is by uploading and converting your presentations into the Google Slides format. The second way to convert PowerPoint to Google Slides is to import your presentations directly into an existing Google Slides presentation. I'll show you each of the two methods here in a few seconds. But before I start, I want to first point out a few very important things you should know about using Google Slides. First, if you're just looking to store and share your PowerPoint presentations using Google Drive, you can do that without having to actually convert to the Google Slides file format. Simply upload your PowerPoint presentations to the Google Drive and use it as a file folder. Secondly, because Google Slides is an online platform, you will need access to the internet before you can upload and import PowerPoint files into its format. And finally, while it's fairly easy to convert back and forth between the two programs, it's important to keep in mind that not all of your content will properly convert. So before you begin your conversion process, make sure your PowerPoint presentation is 100% finished and ready to be uploaded or imported into Google Slides. All right, let's now take a look at the two ways to convert PowerPoint to Google Slides. The first way to convert a PowerPoint presentation into the Google Slides format is to upload it to a Google Drive folder and then convert its file format. Let's do it together. So if I go to my Google Drive folder here, I'm going to make this only half of the screen and I have my PowerPoint presentation right here. So what I'm going to do is I can either drag it into here Right? You can simply drag it to upload and it will start uploading into your Google Drive or you can simply right click, upload files and you can find your PowerPoint presentation this way. And that's how you can upload it into your Google Drive and it will take just one minute to upload. All right, so now that the presentation is in your Google Drive folder, what you're gonna do is right click the presentation, go to open with, and then select Google Slides. Once you click on Google Slides, Google Slides will then open that presentation in the Google Slides format. The first thing you'll notice is this little error here up at the top that says some PowerPoint features can't be displayed in Google Slides and will be dropped if you make changes. So if you view details, you'll notice the main thing here that was not will not display properly are animations. However, there are actually more things that typically do not convert over well to Google Slides. And let me show you what those are. If we go to the original presentation and I view it in slideshow mode, you'll notice that, for example, there are there's a fade transition between each of the slides. This next slide here has a different type of transition. We'll have to see if that converts over very well or not. This is actually a slide with zoom, so you'll notice these are hyperlinked slides. So you can click and it will zoom into that particular slide. Then each of these slides has a little hyperlink button here that returns you back to the, to the zoom summary slide. So if you click on one of these, it'll keep going to the next one. Here you'll notice there is a morph uh, animation a morph transition, excuse me. So uh, the, if I go back to the previous slide, these shapes um, basically adjust from slide to slide. We'll see if that carries over. What else do we have here? Just some fade, some basic fade transitions. And that should be it. Let's check also. One thing to point out is there is some ink here. There are some ink shapes that were drawn in, and I believe this slide has animations on the chart. 
So you'll notice the chart is animated as well. So those are some of the features that I've put into the slide just to show you what happens when you convert over into Google. And let's play this presentation using Google Slides. You'll notice if I go to the next slide that the fade transitions are working well. However, when I try to do this transition, you notice it's a little bit choppy. It's close, but not exactly it. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. The other thing to notice is that your Zoom works in the sense that the hyperlinks work. It goes to the proper slide, but it does not actually uh, zoom in and out. And also the animations here for this chart are no longer there. Also the chart looks a little bit different. The zoom works here. The morph does not work here. So you'll notice that the transition that used to be morph that took these, these shapes uh, and brought them into these shapes is no longer there. And now the slide has zero uh, transition. The return to table of contents works. So if you click that, it goes, uh, it goes well to the next slide. And I'll have to go back up to find our pie chart to see if the if the ink is there and you'll notice the ink is gone. So there's no ink here. So those are some of the things to keep in mind uh, when you are converting from PowerPoint over to Google Slides. You basically have basic uh, transitions that work, but anything that's a little bit more advanced, transitions that are more complicated are likely to, to look a little bit to either not work or to not be as smooth. The animations are all gone, meaning there's also no morph transition. And uh, zoom still works and hyperlinks still work, but it doesn't actually uh, zoom in and out the way it does in PowerPoint and there is no ink. So those are the things to pay attention to when you're converting from your PowerPoint presentation over into Google Slides. Now, you may want to make some adjustments here. You may want to add, you know, here you may want to add a different transition and make any adjustments you want. But basically, you'll, you're going to have to deal with uh, losing some of those features. Now, once you have maybe fixed any errors that you've noticed, uh, and once you're confident with this, what you can do is go to File and Save file and save as Google Slides. Clicking on save as Google Slides, this will basically create a new version of Google Slides version of this presentation because if you notice up here, it is still a .pptx file format. So it's still a PowerPoint presentation, but it's just being uh, read with Google Slides. Whereas if you save as a Google Slides presentation, you'll notice it's no longer the .pptx. And if you go back to your folder, you should notice, there you go, that here you have that .pptx BTX, which is the, still the same PowerPoint that we have here, and you have an actual Google Slides version of that presentation. Now, once you have it in here, it's all set, it's ready to go. You don't need to do anything else with it unless you want to make any more changes, and you can go ahead and delete the PowerPoint version that you have here. You can either delete it this way, you can right-click and remove. There are any number of ways of deleting it, and let's just go ahead and close that. So that's the first method for converting your PowerPoint presentation into a Google Slides format. You upload it into your Google Drive folder. You then open it with Google Slides, and then you save it as a Google Slides presentation. So that is method number one. Now, the other way to convert your PowerPoint presentation to Google Slides is to import the slides directly into a Google Slides document. Let's do that together. If I go into my Google Drive folder here, you'll notice that I have the, the Google Slides version of the presentation that I converted, and I also have the PowerPoint version, the .pptx version that I re-uploaded into this folder. So let's go ahead and close this. and. The way to do this, the second method, is to import slides directly into an existing Google Slides presentation. And you can do this in a blank document. So you can go to New, Google Slides, and create a blank presentation. And it would work the same way. But for this example, let me show you how to do it inside of an existing Google Slides presentation. If I double click this presentation and open it in Google Slides, you'll notice that it already has a bunch of slides in it. So this is an existing presentation and I want to insert my PowerPoint slides into this Google Slides presentation. So the way you can do that is simply to go to the file tab and go to import slides. 
If you click on import slides, you'll get a dialog box that gives you a couple of options. You can either import slides from existing presentations in your Google Drive, or you can upload a presentation. Let me show you how both of them work. So you'll notice that here you have the option to import from the Google Slides version of this presentation, right? So this would just be importing from Google Slides, so Google Slide to Google Slide. In this situation, it would be from PowerPoint that we want to upload. So if you select this presentation and hit select, you will then be given an option of which slides you want to import into this existing Google Slides presentation. And once this loads, I will show you what you can do. Google Slides will then pull up a thumbnail of all of the presentation of all of the slides in your presentation and you can either select however many you want just you know, picking them here and selecting them, making sure that they are blue if you want to import them. You'll notice I have six slides selected, or you can select all if you want to select all of them, and then you'll just hit import slides. All right, so that is the first way to do this. The other way is, and it's basically the same question, is just to select a file from your device. You'll select it here and hit open, which will then upload the presentation this way. Now this takes a little bit of time, so let me just cancel and go back to the first method so we can do this more quickly. I'll select this one, select, it will find the slides for me, and I will select all of them. And now the thing to keep in mind right before you select import slides is whether you want to keep the original theme or not. If you keep the original theme, you'll notice that, that Google will do its best to import the slides exactly the way they look instead of trying to fit them into the existing theme of a presentation. Now, if you're just importing into a blank presentation, this doesn't matter as much, um, but if you're importing into an existing presentation with its own slide master and own theme, this will be an important feature to keep in mind whether you keep original theme or not. I'm gonna select keep original theme because I want these slides to look as much as they do in the original. And so I'm gonna select import. And then Google Slides will actually take a minute to import the slides and you'll notice them all populated in here. They will go directly after whichever slide you are on when you import the slides. So in this situation, you may want to drag this over you know, beyond the presentation, or you could even just go ahead and delete all of these slides so that you only had these uh, exa existing layouts. Another thing to keep in mind here is that they didn't give you the notification uh, warning here about the elements that did not actually convert over. But you know, if I go to present, you'll notice that the same issues came up as did for the um, first method of converting your PowerPoint presentation to Google Slides. The other thing that's different is that even though I said keep original theme, you notice that the fonts are different. And so things are going to look fairly different from how they did in the original presentation. So that is just something to keep in mind here that the fonts have been adjusted. You'll notice the same transition issues, the same zoom issues. Basically everything is the same errors pop up. There's no animations, no ink, and no morph, etc. So the same issues happen when you import slides versus when you convert your presentation into the Google Slides format. And that's it, you're all set. Those are the two ways to convert PowerPoint to Google Slides, along with the different options you have for each method. Although you can quickly and easily convert between these two different formats, I do wanna make sure that you are 100% set on the way your PowerPoint presentation is going to look before you try to convert it into Google Slides because you will lose some of the features and then, you know, if you make any changes back in your original PowerPoint presentation, you're going to have to re-upload it, reconvert it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So to the extent possible, stick in the same program first until you convert. And again, if you don't actually want to convert your slides, you can always just keep your files in the PowerPoint format like this and simply share this file from your Google Drive with someone and when they download it, it will open in PowerPoint and you don't need to worry about any conversion whatsoever. Now it's your turn. Did you find this video helpful? If so, please leave a comment, like the video and subscribe down below to find out about any new tutorial releases in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you at happy hour.